Hi, my name is John McElhenney and I'm a partner in John McElhenney & Co Chartered Accountants. I didn't actually do accountancy in school from my junior cert or my leaving cert. It wasn't until after I completed school that I decided to do a two-year accounting technician course. After that, I started a chartered accounting training contract. A typical day for me could be in the office or out with clients. I could be planning, supervising and reviewing accounts and, and audit work, as well as obviously keeping our own personal administration up to speed. If I'm out with a client, I could be supervising a statutory audit, a revenue audit, or even helping them streamline their business, or possibly, as I was doing today, uh, helping them interview account staff. What I really like about my job is the diversity of it. One day I could be doing accounts and audit preparation and supervision. The next day I could be doing some tax compliance and planning work. Personally, the advice I would give is to go for training and experience over short-term remuneration. One thing to bear in mind, obviously, is that although the starting salary may be approximately fifteen to 25000 this would be reviewed constantly and would be reviewed on a performance-based approach. Also, a lot of firms would give exam bonuses, which would increase for each year of exams that you attained. It's true to say chartered accountancy is a vocation, and with tax, auditing and accounting deadlines, sometimes you are required to, to burn the midnight oil. Saying this, most employers would uh, compensate staff through the remuneration package or with time in lieu. For example, myself, I clocked up over a month's overtime last year, but on the flip side, I managed to ha take 31 days holidays. The Institute of Chartered Accountants and the student societies and district societies organise more than enough events if people want to get involved. There's a summer soccer blitz, tag rugby, pool tournaments, as well as training courses and just general social events. Obviously there's flexibility in the job. Sometimes deadlines need to be met and people can't work 9 to 5 in the office. So firms are usually more than happy for people to work remotely from home in order for them to meet the deadlines. My dream job? Well, I suppose I wouldn't mind being a Formula One driver. Or on the other side, I wouldn't mind being the quality control taster in Guinnesses.